Hey everyone, do you ever feel like you're a master negotiator, getting what you want most of the time? But what if those negotiation skills aren't quite as innocent as you think? Today's video might leave you a little surprised. We're uncovering 10 sneaky signs that you could be manipulating people without even realizing it. Buckle up, because this might get a little uncomfortable, but definitely eye-opening. 1. Excessive flattery. We all appreciate a sincere compliment, but when flattery becomes excessive and insincere, it becomes a manipulative tool. The manipulator bombards the target with compliments, often on superficial aspects, creating a sense of obligation or inflating their ego. The target, basking in the false admiration, might become more susceptible to requests or hesitant to disagree with the flatterer for fear of losing the praise. Example, a coworker excessively compliments your outfit every day, then subtly asks you to cover for their late arrival. 2. Covert Intimidation This tactic doesn't involve overt threats. Instead, the manipulator uses subtle cues to create a sense of unease or fear. They might raise their voice slightly during disagreements, make veiled threats about consequences, or use sarcasm to belittle the other person's opinions. This creates a power imbalance where the target feels pressured to agree or avoid conflict to maintain a peaceful environment. Example, a parent constantly reminds their child about past mistakes during arguments, making them feel defensive and less likely to stand their ground. Three, playing the victim. This manipulative tactic involves portraying oneself as the victim of a situation, often to gain sympathy or deflect blame. The manipulator might exaggerate their own problems, downplay the other person's feelings, or use guilt trips to get their way. This puts the target in the uncomfortable position of comforting or apologizing, even if they weren't at fault. Example, a friend constantly complains about their stressful job, subtly implying you should be more understanding of their need to cancel plans last minute. 4. Rationalization. We all justify our actions, but manipulators take it to an extreme. They twist facts, minimize their wrongdoing, or blame external factors for their behavior. This prevents them from taking responsibility and makes it difficult for the target to hold them accountable. Their explanations, while seemingly logical, often lack emotional empathy for the consequences. Example, a partner who apologizes for cheating but justifies it by saying, you were working late all the time. 5. Withholding affection. Affection is a powerful tool for building connection. Manipulators can use its absence as a punishment for not complying with their wishes. They might become distant, refuse physical touch, or give silent treatment until the target does what they want. This emotional manipulation creates a roller coaster of emotions, making the target feel insecure and desperate to regain affection. Example, a parent who withholds love and attention from their child unless they achieve perfect grades. 6. Gaslighting. This insidious tactic involves manipulating a person's perception of reality. The manipulator denies or contradicts the target's experiences, memories, or feelings, causing them to question their own sanity. They might make the target feel like they're overreacting or overly sensitive. Over time, this erodes the target's self-confidence and ability to trust their own judgment. Example, a partner constantly denies making promises or saying hurtful things, leaving the target confused and doubting their own memory. 7. Projecting blame. This tactic involves deflecting responsibility by accusing the other person of the manipulator's own shortcomings. They might project their insecurities, anger, or bad habits onto the target, making them feel defensive or guilty. This deflects attention from the manipulator's true behavior and puts the target on the back foot. Example, a friend constantly criticizes your punctuality while they are often late themselves. 8. Bait and Switch This strategy lures someone in with a seemingly positive offer, only to change the terms or expectations later. The target, initially interested in the proposal, feels obligated to follow through even if it becomes unfavorable. This can involve vague promises, hidden conditions, or changing deadlines to pressure the target into compliance. Example, a boss offers a raise in exchange for taking on extra work but later reveals the raise is contingent on exceeding unrealistic goals. 9. Contempt and Criticism While constructive criticism can be helpful, manipulators use contempt and harsh criticism to belittle and control others. They might use sarcasm, name-calling, or put-downs to make the target feel inadequate or worthless. This erodes the target's self-esteem and makes them more susceptible to manipulation. Example. A family member constantly criticizes someone's clothing choices, making them feel insecure about their appearance. 10. Isolation. Manipulators often try to isolate their target from friends, family, or support systems. This creates a sense of dependence on the manipulator, making the target less likely to seek help or challenge their behavior. They might use guilt trips, jealousy tactics, or social exclusion to keep the target isolated. Example. A controlling partner discourages their significant other from seeing their friends, making them feel increasingly alone. By recognizing these manipulative tactics, we can protect ourselves from emotional abuse and build healthier relationships where open communication and respect prevail.